Thank you, Mr. Rudy. Today I'd like to share thoughts with you about seeking justice as a movement, because movement is the medicine for the disease of bigotry. Our schools have a responsibility to teach the full facets of American and world history, culture, law, and modern challenges. In Fairfax County, we expect our schools to teach about efforts to expand civil rights, and this undoubtedly includes teaching about individuals such as Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, and indeed Martin Luther King Jr. But we must be cautious about framing civil rights and movement toward more equal rights in terms of one person at one time. Because the civil rights movement in America, the action against oppression, began on that dreadful moment that enslaved Africans stepped foot on the ill-named Point Comfort in our very own Virginia in 1619. It is this expanse of time, over 400 years, that our schools must teach students about to provide a comprehensive and truthful education about the battle for civil rights in America, really the battle for human rights. Every subject throughout K-12 education provides opportunities to learn the lessons about seeking justice, what happens when justice is denied, and how to grapple with wrongs of the past to make a more equitable and beautiful future. We continue to live in the civil rights movement. Movement is the medicine for the disease of racism. And movement is needed when we live in a state with policymakers who think that standards for education shouldn't even include learning about Martin Luther King Jr. until well into elementary school. Among other egregious omissions about content and inquiry-based learning about complex or complex American society. Right now in this community, there are too many parents who shun coming to local school board meetings to be involved in their children's education because extremist individuals are in the audience touting hate displaying their disdain for diversity and inclusion, and harassing elected officials, staff, parents, and even students. Our community has been cornered into spaces where we are entertaining conversations about book banding, gender equity, and the very value of public schools, topics we agreed as a society long ago to stop negotiating. The majority of we parents, community members, and educators want our students to be challenged with the complexities of America, not give students some sanitized version of our culture, promoted by politicians and a small group of extremist individuals who unfortunately are often well-funded by those far outside the boundaries of Fairfax County. But movement is the medicine for ignorance. Movement is the medicine for apathy. Movement is the medicine for injustice. Our movement must include speaking up against language that is divisive, stepping up at schools to bear witness and foster the work toward equity that is happening and showing up to vote at each and every opportunity we have. And in Virginia, that is every single November and sometimes even more during one year. <laughs> Let's embrace our opportunities for movement on this day to ensure that our public schools fulfill the promise of equity and justice for all children and our community. Thank you.